Managing patients who are high risk for developing preterm labor is a major part of OB practices today. When a patient presents with clinical signs of labor, such as cervical dilation, effacement, and contractions, it is difficult to ascertain which client is in labor and which client is not in labor based on these signs alone. Using a screening test, known as fetal fibronectin, can help the provider determine with high probability those clients who are likely to deliver within the next 7 to 14 days. Accurate identification of women at risk for preterm labor would allow risk-specific treatment to begin, delay delivery, and improve perinatal outcomes. Uh, can I have some help here, please? Can I help you? What's going Hi, on? Um, I'm having contractions, and um, I'm only 25 weeks along, and so it's too early, and I'm, I'm nervous. And, yeah, she's been having contractions a couple of hours ago and hasn't stopped, so we're kind of worried. Okay, about has your water that. broken? No, no. All right, well, come on. Let's get you into this room, and we'll get you into a gown and check you out and see what's going on, okay? Okay, okay All thank right. you. Cool. All right, how many pregnancies have you had? Um, this is my second. Okay, how did it? How did the first one turn out? Um, I was 36 weeks, so I was I was a little early. The doctor said, um, but the baby was fine. He's fine. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna check your cervix, and we'll just kind of do an examination to see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, from the exam, it seems like you're two centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. So I'm gonna talk to the doctor and see what she wants to do. Okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So is the baby going to be obeyed in? Or? Well, the heartbeat sounds great, so that's some good news. You know, it seems to be doing fine, but we'll still talk to the doctor and see what she wants to do. I'll have her come in, and she'll talk to you guys, and she might run some more tests, okay? Okay. okay. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Raymond. I'm Dr. Kyoto. How nice you doing, Dr. You. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I hear that you are 2 centimeter dilated and 90% phased. Yeah. And it will be considered preterm since you are before 37 weeks. And since you're only at 25 weeks gestation, it will be best if your baby's not delivered at this point. Okay. And uh, since you already had one preterm birth, yes. it's, it will put this baby at risk for another preterm labor. So I am going to run a test called fetal, fetal fibronectin screening. Okay. The test will tell me if you're going to go into labor within the next few weeks. So the nurse will come in and help you with that process. And okay. I'll come back when the test results are in, okay? Okay. How okay. long does it take to get the it's results? It's about five minutes or so. Oh, okay. okay. Good. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Melinda. I'm the nurse practitioner today. Hi. Um, I will be performing your fetal fibronectin screening, and it will tell me whether it's positive or negative. Okay. What is positive or negative? Um, the negative means that you most likely will not go into labor within 7 to 14 days. So I'll be back with my supplies and I will perform the FFN swabbing. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Performing your FFN swabbing today, you should feel some pressure. And I'll be using a swab to gather some secretions along your vaginal wall. We should find out the results in a few minutes. Hi. Hi. Mr. and Mrs. Ramos, I have your test results for you. Okay. Your test result came back negative, which so tells me that you are most likely not going into preterm labor. So I'm comfortable sending you both to home today. However, if you have any bleeding or if your water breaks, you need to come into the hospital right away. Okay. And if you have any other further questions, please please feel free to call. Okay. okay. And the contractions that I'm um, having. Don't if worry you about have them. six contractions, more than six contractions per hour, you will need to come back. Okay. 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 Good okay. Okay. Good. okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Good All right. Okay. Can I have some help here, please? Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I think my wife is in labor. Yeah, I'm having really bad contractions. I really hurt, but I don't know how this can happen. I'm only 25 weeks. Uh, she started feeling the contractions like a couple of hours ago, and it hasn't stopped, so we're kind of worried. Has your water broken? No, it hasn't broken, but I, it, I'm in a lot of pain, and I know what contractions feel like because I've had a baby before. How many pregnancies have you had? 
Um, I've had one before, but I was 36 weeks and I was early. The doctor said I was early, so that's why I'm worried about this one. All right, well, let's get you into the room and we'll get you evaluated, okay? okay? Well, it's good that you guys came in. We're going to get you checked out, okay? Here's a gown. I'll have you change into this, and then I'll check uh, your cervix and see what's going on, okay? Okay. All right, well, from the exam, it seems like you're 2 centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. So I'm going to talk to the doctor, see what she thinks the next step should be, but the baby's heartbeat sounds good. So, so. does that mean the baby will be all right? Right now it sounds like the baby's doing good, so like I said, I'll just talk to the doctor and see what she thinks, and she should be in to talk to you guys, and um, she might run some more tests, and we'll kind of see what she thinks, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, thanks. Sounds good. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Weymus. I Hi. am Dr. Kyoko. Hi, hey, Doctor. Hi, Chief. I've been informed that you are 2 centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. Okay. Uh, you are considered a preterm labor because you're before 37 weeks. Okay. And since your baby is only at 25 weeks, it would be best if your baby wasn't delivered at this time. Yeah. And since you already had one preterm baby, um, you will put your baby at the risk for another preterm baby. So I am going to run a test called fetal fibronectin screening. Hi, I'm Melinda. I'm the nurse practitioner. Hi. I will be performing your um, fetal fibronectin swabbing today. Um, what is that? Um, it's a test that will tell me whether it's positive or negative. What does positive and negative mean? Oh, it, it could mean that you could possibly go into preterm labor within um, 7 to 14 days. Okay. So I'll be back and I'm going to go get my supplies. Okay, how do you perform the swabbing? Oh, you use a speculum and then you just swab around your cervix to gather some um, secretions and that's how okay. I'll be able to tell. Okay, great. Thank okay, you. I'll be right back. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Ramos. I have your test results for you. Okay. Your fetal fibronectin test came back negative. Is that, is that good or? Yeah, when your test is negative, that means you don't have a risk of going into preterm labor within the next few weeks. Okay. But I'm still concerned that she's having contractions, so I am going to have your wife stay in the hospital for the next few days. And we are going to give her a medication called um, magnesium sulfate. What does that do? Um, it will help relax the uterus okay, so she okay. will not be going into contractions. And also she'll be placed on a bed rest just because it makes us feel better. Okay. And we just, um, we just see how well you do. Okay. And we'll continue to monitor you. Okay. okay. I'll have the nurse come in and get started on the magnesium sulfate. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Mrs. Ramos, looks like the medication is working for you. Okay. And I don't suspect you're going into labor within the next few weeks because your contraction has stopped. But I'm going to go ahead and have you uh, stay off your feet, take it easy. And um, if you have any bleeding or if your water breaks, uh, go ahead and come into the emergency room. So I get to go home? Yes, you get to go oh, home great. today. So once I leave, you can get dressed and go home. Great. And feel free, feel free to call anytime when you have any other questions, okay? Okay, thank okay. you thank you so much. Need <sighs> some help here, please. Oh, hi, Mrs. Ramos. Hi, I'm in a lot of pain. My water just broke an hour ago. Okay, are you having contractions? Yes, really bad. Okay. Well, we'll get you into this room. Okay. I'll have you put this gown on and let, we'll get you examined right away, okay? okay? All right, it feels like you're 8 centimeters dilated and 90% effaced, yeah. so you're in labor right now. I'm going to call the doctor, okay? Okay. All right. Just hang on there, Dr. honey. You'll be okay, all right? Okay. She needs me to just hold my hand, okay? Mrs. Okay. Ramos is in labor. Is it okay? All right. You're going to be okay now? Yeah. Okay. Right. Hi, Mrs. Ramos. I Hi. hear that you're in labor. Yeah. Since your water broke, we're going to go ahead and deliver your baby today. It's too early though. Well, we're gonna go go ahead and call the NICU. They'll be on standby. Okay. okay. So I'll be back. 
once I change and help you deliver your baby. Okay. Today. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you can see the head. Good job. Keep it up. You can do it. Okay, Elena, I see the baby's head with a contraction. Okay. Can or tail. We're going to push the baby out. Keep breathing. Ready? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Here's the contraction. Ready, okay. set, okay. push. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, job relax. All right, ready, set, next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one, next one. Good job, good job. I see the baby already. All right, head's still coming. Next push, ready? I see birds. One, two, three, four, five, six. 